everybody. So right now it is 4.36 in the morning. And I have been working on my anatomy notes this entire time because I have my Galen quiz, which is basically an anatomy quiz at 1 p.m. And I wanted to make sure I didn't get behind in anatomy. So I thoroughly studied last week's anatomy lectures. And I'm about to show you what I've done. Keep in mind that I have been doing this since 7 p.m. Which is like nine, over nine hours. I mean, of course I was a little distracted every now and then, but this is ridiculous. At least I can say that I am definitely an expert. I did 150 practice questions and got 10 wrong. So not bad. I'm ready for the quiz, but I'm not ready for my weekly quiz, which is at 8 a.m. The reason I like to do anatomy first is because if I don't do anatomy first, I'll never do anatomy. I learn anatomy and then I have to study for my weekly quiz because it's, it's at 8 a.m. Now it's time to study for the weekly quiz. And then let me show you how much I have to learn. So this is the beginning of week four and I'm just gonna keep scrolling till it's over. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my goodness, how fun, woo, woo. Can't wait. Guys, so the deal today is I'm about to meet Eden and we're going to meet with our research professor and that building right here and uh, I was supposed to meet him at 2 and it's 2.04 and we still have to get to that building. I have so many things to do. I'm so freaking behind in everything. So I'm created a little folder. This is my little folder and I'm just going to like kind of divide all of the things I have to do, which are all in my download folder. These are just some of the things, there's more. I'm just going to put the documents that I know I could do today if I tried really hard in that tasks of the day and I will feel accomplished. So just gonna those in here and that will be the things that I really really wish I could do today and that would really help me if I could you know it's really funny <laughs> optional reading <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my car and head to Denny's because I'm starving it's seven o'clock and I'm eating pizza in the morning so I definitely need to eat that's probably why I'm so freaking cranky right now so, I'm, so I can finish all of these freaking tasks. <laughs> wow, I'm the last little car left. <laughs> uh, stressed out right now. I am determined to stay here until I know everything. Uh, 141, finally done. Waking up with the caster. It is so cold outside. So I'm awake, it's freezing. I put on like all sorts of clothes to feel warm again. I put the heater on and I just realized I had a $60, $60 um, heating fee for this month. So yeah, it's wonderful. But anyways, I overslept her class, which makes sense because I didn't go to sleep till three. Well, actually I didn't get to bed till three and I couldn't fall asleep basically till six, which is pretty annoying. So I skipped school because I'm too tired, but now I'm going to get up, be there at one, uh, study for an hour, then go to ultrasound from two to three, and then spend the rest of my day doing a whole bunch of catching up. All right, what's for dinner? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Do you mind, Calyx, trying to wet my beauty bladder? Okay, guys, and now we are headed to school. I have to pay $60 to take practice step one exams, and there's six of them. $360 to go through torture. I have to pay $360 to take an eight hour exam six times. They should be paying me to go through this. I need to start thinking about step and making a schedule for studying for step. So I'm gonna start something right now. So these are the sources that I'm basically going to use to study for first aid. I get a lot of questions saying, America, what textbook do you use for psych? What did you use for chemistry? What did you use? I don't use textbooks. I've never used textbooks. I go to class, I use the PowerPoints that they give us and that's it. I'm not a fan of resources. A lot of people 
love having like 10 textbooks and I just feel like that's more of a a secure feeling than it is actually helping you. You should just pick one good source, which is usually your teacher, to learn because your teacher's gonna teach you what's on the exam. If they don't, they're a bad teacher. So that's who you should be studying from. So for step, I'm basically going to be using three big sources. So I'm going to be using three major resources. First aid, NBME self-assessment exams, which is what I just showed you. Every exam is $60. And then I'm going to be using UWorld, which is like a question bank. I'm going to be using Wikipedia and YouTube videos if I don't understand or remember something from first aid. So I'm just going to go to Excel and they have this little 12 month calendar thing. So I basically need this for February, March, April. Um, and then on May, you can see May 1st is my USMLE step one exam that I will be taking in around 8 a.m. I believe. And then on the 12th is actually my birthday. So that would be awesome because I'll be done with step one. And then you can see in February, I, I'm done with my second year of med school, the 16th. And then I have up until July off until third year. On the 20th, we have to take something called the CBSE exam. Basically, it's like a practice step one exam that our school makes us take and we have to get a certain score or else we can't take step. Um, and the reason that schools do this is it looks bad if their students can't pass step. So they make you take the CBSE exam to make sure you can pass it before they let you take step one. Does that make sense? If I don't pass this CBSE exam, then I have to keep retaking it until I can demonstrate to my school that I can pass step one. So hopefully I pass it the first time um, because I really don't want to be dealing with that the whole time and also that's gonna like ruin my nerves if I can't even pass it by this time so yeah and then in yellow are the days that I have to take off from studying because I have something to do so for instance on um, the 25th that's when I have to present my project and on the 24th is when I'm gonna go see penguins so I kind of want to take these days off from studying uh, step going to fill in these blank days with what I want to do. And there are 2,484 practice questions. Hmm. Okay, so I am done here. I'm giving myself some time for micro. I get through first aid twice via this method and you world uh, at least twice. And then I allow myself a whole week of just reviewing my weaknesses and a lot of you world random questions. And I allow myself five NBME exams. So USMLE step one exam, come at me. And now for the rest of my day, I will be just going through to my task of the day folder and doing the new things that I added. Heading to Denny's now to continue studying so I can eat. It's always so pretty. To pass the hospital area. Okay guys, it is 10:10 10, 10, and I am at Vinny's. Makes me wanna hold Calyx. So so tight. Hi guys, me and Christian are walking to the last preclinical class or lecture that we're ever going to have. And I can't wait. I finished with anatomy studying and I was in there for two and a half hours. I really needed it though because I have to go out of town right now uh, and I won't be able to study in the lab till Sunday when I get back. Now you're wondering, what do you mean that you're going out of town, America? You have an anatomy practical and exam on Monday. Well, I bought a ticket to see Lana Del Rey in Houston, which is not the city where I live, on Saturday night. So. I'm just going to wing this, hopefully enjoy the concert, and do well on my exams, so we'll see what happens. It is a gloomy day to end clinicals. Alrighty guys, I am packing and Calyx is being very scared. Oh gosh. Oh. Hello everybody, I am now heading off. That's my bus to Houston over there. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it is very large and in charge. So yes, I will be going to Houston, it's about three hours. Um, I have my homework with me. I'll be doing anatomy studying so that I'm not screwed when I come back, but probably will be anyway. So yeah, um, this is all part of my extravaganza life where I just, you know, wing it and go to concerts in the middle of finals week. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I am on my way. I'm here. 
Interesting. And moms get you free coffee and you don't have to pay arm and leg for it. Yay! Mom came to save me from three hours of studying at Starbucks. And now we have to go get ready because we have a birthday party. And of course my Lana Del Rey concert. Hey mother, you want to hurry up there? <laughs> Alrighty, so I got my makeup. I'm going to start getting ready. I'm going to get my toothbrush. Oh, this is my mom's room. We got the whole family at the house right now. Where were you? <laughs> That's my aunt. <laughs> My aunt, my mom, and now it's time to get ready. Me and my mom are officially ready to go to our friend's birthday he dinner. Said, didn't give me the lipstick, but you know, whatever. And uh, yeah, I have my notebook to study all of this and some documents. And now we're on our way. Mom and her friends, and I got my notebook, my friend. We are now on the way to the concert. And I'm very, very nervous because I will Hi, do it. Mommy. I will be doing this without mom, and I'm scared. Twelve, you need to go up. It's about twelve. <laughs> yeah! Oh my gosh, we're so close. Oh. 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 Much needed Gatorade. <laughs> yes. Mama got me an ice latte and I am headed back to my bus back home. Finally landed. I am currently at Anatomy Lab and we just dissected bodies, looked at bones and x-rays and we have to know all of these structures right here. See all these little lines? Those are structures that we need to know for tomorrow. Okay, it is officially 2 in the morning, and I'm about to take this guy to Denny's. <laughs> So much knowledge. Back home with the caster. The waiter at Denny's said I could have this mug. I think something's wrong with it, which is why he gave it to me. But yeah, isn't this awesome? It's like my favorite restaurant. They gave me a mug, and I need mugs, so yay. Anyways, it's like 4.50, and I'm gonna wake up at 7 to finish studying, and then my exam is at 1, and then it ends at 4, and then I will sleep. Alrighty, it is 9.33. I'm on my laptop doing handouts with Calyx, my pens, and my notebook. And I'm just working in bed because I'm very, very tired. Well, okay guys, that's enough studying. I think I'm ready to go take my practical and my exam now. Okay guys, I am at school and I'm headed to the anatomy lab right now. More to be most of The dead teach the living. Bye guys. Alrighty, we have sweet, sweet freedom for about the next 10 seconds. 